Hello, welcome to the garden. It's Sunday evening. Um, it's like 8.30 p.m. and I thought I'd do a little garden tour video of everything. Um, the hose is on right now, so uh, hopefully we don't get wet. <laughs> Um, but let's just go in and kind of see what's going on out here because there's quite a few things going on. Um, I've harvested some cucumbers this week and some beans and I harvested the rest of the broccoli. So let's see what's going on. So right off the bat here in Herb Corner, um, as usual, this stuff is huge. And um, I actually did harvest some dill uh, yesterday I made my first batch of refrigerator pickles and this I'm gonna start cutting on this week um, I'm gonna make a pizza with it and uh, some other stuff um, this I still haven't done very much with but I need to start doing stuff with it because you know why have it if you're not gonna use it um, the onions I had to cut again because they were so um, they got knocked over by a storm, and so I had to cut a whole bunch of tops off. Um, so the freezer is packed with onion tops again. Um, the strawberries are growing. Looking happy. As you can see, everything's getting a nice drink, <laughs> or most things are getting a drink. Um, the hose doesn't hit everything, so I do have to come in here and hand water some stuff. Um, this pepper plant is getting quite tall, but again, there's no peppers on it um, there is a flower up here the only one that has a pepper on it is this one and actually it has two peppers on it there's one down here and there's one right here also which is interesting um, and that was one of my Menards plants let's see this is one I grew from seed it doesn't have anything on it um, the jalapeno also doesn't have anything on it, and that weed's bigger than it. <laughs> Had to go turn the hose off. Everything got a nice drink, so uh, that's good. The um, peppers were looking a little puny, so I decided to give everything a drink tonight, just so everything can make it through tomorrow and be nice and happy. I'm in a tomato area, and as you can see, it's looking a little jungly. Um, that's just kind of what happens with these types of tomatoes. They kind of go like out like this instead of going up. But there's tomatoes on all of these. Um, this is Aroma and it has tons of fruit. Um, all of these Romas have tomatoes on them. And if they don't have tomatoes themselves, they have flowers which makes me happy. And then the Viva Talias are doing pretty good. I think there's a clump back there. Um, these are moving a little slower than the Romas. Last year, I only did Romas and, yeah, see there's some down there. I found that they did produce very quickly. They set fruit really fast. Um, look at this, look at this. It's like long weird this is the lemon boy that's coming over on its neighbors um, these bean plants these bush beans are doing pretty well uh, I came out yesterday and cut some beans and I actually made a pot of beans yesterday so that was exciting fun and exciting this one like look how big this leaf I don't know this is two plants um, and there are some beans on it but like this one is just shrinking, I swear. It's getting smaller, and I don't understand why. Um, the broccoli is starting to bolt, which is this. See how it's all these little tiny pieces, and they're starting to like flower a little bit. I need to come over here and just pull these out. I pulled off what was left yesterday, so these are ready to come out. Um, the sunflowers are nice and happy and they are forming more heads. Here's one right here 
and here's one right here and there's another one up here so these are gonna have flowers all over them and I am stoked now down here in the tomato arch that one lemon boy is still just there's no signs of blushing yet and he just doesn't look good because he was the first tomato these are getting big also I mean these are almost as big as this one uh, this plant has a lot of fruit on it um, and they're all pretty healthy which is good um, I haven't had any signs of blossom end rot on either of these lemon boys which is good because um, that's something I'm worried about now that I've struggled with it with a couple of my other plants yeah these are setting fruit pretty well like look at these things in here some of these are just gorgeous like this is a gorgeous tomato but look at these babies I love them um, this is the Chianti Rose over here and it has a couple more tomatoes on it um, and then it also has these two down here like look at this and this like this thing is that fills the palm of my hand and this one I think is actually bigger than that I can't wait to see what these look like um, this tomato right here. No, okay. I thought it might have some blossom in draw, but it doesn't. Yeah, look at these. These are so pretty. Like even now, they're just nice and glossy and healthy looking. And the purple Russian is huge. Like it's even gotten bigger from my garden walkthrough video. I mean, it's honestly probably six and a half feet tall now, which is crazy. And it has, has fruit on it, has flowers on it. Um, these back here are new. They have no sign of blossom end rot, which is awesome. Um, these are all new. Again, no signs of blossom end rot so yeah I think this plant might be good for now like look at all these tomatoes just right here that's crazy and then these ones down here oh, that's a piece of that's a weed that can come out this is massive now I don't have big hands but these look awesome I am so stoked for these. I'm so excited to see what all these actually look like when they're ripe. Um, and this plant, like it's still like, look at these leaves. Like it's not thirsty. It had a lot of water last night and it's still just, that's just what it looks like, I guess. Um, the San Marzano over here, I actually had to tie it up again right here because it almost snapped in half down here because look at all these tomatoes on here there's a whole bunch right here there's a bunch right here there's some up here there's this huge bunch down here and see this one has a little bit of cracking in it and that's just because of um like an irregular watering pattern which happens. I'm not super worried about it, but yeah, these things are, this plant right here is low dead with fruit. I mean, it's crazy. Like there's more over on this side. Crazy plant. Um, this is the long keeper and it's getting pretty big. Um, it has a lot of fruit on it, but it also is suffering from blossom end rot a little bit. Um, these all look pretty good 
The thing that cracks me up about these tomatoes specifically is they're so round. Like they are so round. The others have like a little bit of variation in their shape. See like here, all the, I had to pick all these tomatoes off that were on here because they were rotten on the bottom. Um, but yeah, these puppies are the roundest tomatoes I have out here. So yeah, everything looks to be pretty healthy, which is good. Now, um, I probably will go ahead and spray it again with Tums, but yeah, it looks pretty healthy. Uh, down here are the Cherokee Purples, and they're getting pretty big, and there's tomatoes set. See, there's some little baby ones in here. Little baby tomatoes, which makes me super excited. Um, I need to come out and cut suckers because that's a sucker. That's not good. It's okay though, I can still cut it off. And then this one has a bigger one. Um, that big double blossom did not get pollinated. I didn't, I didn't get it pollinated, but that's okay. Yeah, it has a couple other little tiny baby ones coming in too. Now these cucumber arches down here have been, cur or these, these cucumber plants, I should say, have been crazy. Look at this. That's the burpless cucumber plant. And then over here is the, cute, the pickle bush. They have been crazy productive. Um, I have two um, of the big jars uh, with refrigerator pickles going right now, just from what I picked over the last two days. Pickle plant has, you know, it's doing its thing. Um, it has a couple pickles on it. There's a lot of flowers. There's a few, in, see here's one down here that I actually need to pick. Um, let's see how big it is. Yeah, it's ready. I like to pick them when they're about this size because they're just easier to, uh, you know, pickle. You don't have to worry about cutting them to fit in the jar. And there's a small one right here. There's a small one right here that's growing. There's one back here. There's two back here. So yeah, we're gonna have some pickles. Um, these beans. So what I did with these beans and you'll see where I, I moved a couple of them because these are not pole beans, obviously. They have not gone up. So I planted some new pole bean seeds yesterday. Um, and the ones I moved um, are pretty much dead. So, uh, yeah, I lost a couple bush bean plants, I think, but that's okay. Um, I have a ton more because these over here... Are these two are also bush beans. There's actually two plants right here. No, there's one plant right here. Yeah, this is just one plant. Um, but I planted another seed in there, um, or over here, I can't remember. I planted like three more seeds because this is what I want. See how this has a bean hanging off of it and it goes up? That's what I want. That's what it was supposed to be. And then these came out of the same seed pack and these are bush beans. Um, this is the burple cucumber plant. And as you can see, here's one right here. And these puppies are huge. That's probably a foot long. Um, this one's been pollinated, I'm pretty sure. And there's another one on here that's all wrapped around the, yeah, see it down there? It's all wrapped around it goes over the trellis. Not sure what he's doing. And there's another one right here. And there's another one back over here. So we're gonna have us some cucumbers here in a couple days. I'm not sure how big these are supposed to get, so I'm just kind of leaving them until I feel like I'm ready to pick them. Um, down here, this is the cantaloupe. The cantaloupe that I started in the house. Um, and it's doing amazingly well. I'm so proud of it. And then it's little friend down here has a new leaf today. That wasn't there yesterday. Um, and this guy has flowers on it. 
Um, it's not really ready to make fruit yet. I don't think I have to worry about that yet. There's not a lot of female flowers on this. It's going places for sure. And this is another vine I need to do something with. Um, again, the beans that I moved that didn't like it. <laughs> and my two watermelons over here. See, like this one's ready to be kind of pulled around. And this one, this has another vine, okay. We just need to get, well, for one thing, get it off this onion. <laughs> and it just, I've just been putting it up like this. And then they do actually shoot off tendrils. So I've just been wrapping it around like that, keeping it up. And it does have a flower on it. This one does. It's a male flower. There's one down here too. And one right there. So, yeah, it's, it's doing its thing. I just ripped it off the trellis like a dummy. Um, so I am optimistic that these will end up, you know, doing what I want, which is actually going up this trellis. That's like my biggest dream for the garden this year is to have, crap, vertical melons. So that's what's happening out here right now. Look at my harvest. Uh, Still no ripe tomatoes, which is kind of sad. I'm really, really craving a fresh garden tomato. But I was hoping by the 4th of July, and today is the 7th. No tomato. Next year, I think I'm going to plant some cherry tomatoes because those always seem to uh, ripen first because they're smaller. So, yeah, but. I will surely make a video as soon as that first tomato gets ripe. <laughs> so for now, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna wash this cucumber, probably put it in the fridge. And um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for joining me and have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.